I'm just looking around because last time we flew the Go Go Bird Eagle we were attacked by red kites, wasn't it? It was, yeah. Oh my god, that's a kite! Look how big it is! <laughs> well, testament to it looking quite real. Did you see how big that kite was? <laughs> I was just saying it's a testament to how real it looks in the sky. I know! And uh, no, no joke, but these, the red, uh, these red kites are about two metre wingspan. And my little eagle flying around, we really thought it was going to get carried away, didn't we, Jason? <laughs> We'd and hoped. We, we, got, <laughs> we, we kind of hoped, yeah. It would have been funny. But um, they're beautiful, beautiful um, creatures and you've got some amazing footage as, as, as well. But I don't think they're about today. So we're just going to give the go-go bird eagle uh, another flight. Now this is coming out soon. I was very lucky and uh, thanks to Go Go Bird for sending me this to, to try out. It is a little bit challenging to fly but that's that's fun uh, as well. You have to be very conscious of the of the wind because if you go downwind and you want to come back it does take a while. <laughs> and the uh, I'll turn it on. It's an interesting remote isn't it Dom? Yeah. Um, so it's all black, but you've got your little joystick on top to control direction via these paddles at the back, which flip up to, in, you know, to create drag. So it goes one way or the other. And then on the controller, you've got these pattern buttons for flying in a circle or flying on an oblong type circuit. You've got another mode to go into a faster flapping mode and also a sound button to turn off the, the noise, uh, the sound effects. So let's, let's turn it on. So it tells you when it's connected, you get these, uh, some people, you get these sound effects. Some people say it sounds like a seagull. I don't know, creative interpretation, but, uh, um, but it does also call out the altitude. It calls it? out the yeah. altitude as well, which is quite clever, isn't it? Yeah, pretty cool. And you can get high. If you're flying into wind, you can get high quite quickly. So here we go. Ready? Let's go. So you press down on the joystick to get it flapping and then you just launch and uh, left and right. I'd say the directional control is pretty good actually, you know, just that little bit of drag. And when it drops, then you just push the joystick up to climb just a bit more. So it's, it's not too difficult to maintain a va vaguely constant altitude. So it's dropping now, so a bit more up on the stick and it, it'll flap a little bit harder. Much like a real bird. And it's pretty high up there. Yeah, so if I go into the... So I've switched mode now, so it should be consistently flapping a little bit faster. And then you pull down on this stick to kind of reduce the flapping power so it drops a little bit. So we're, we're doing that. Low pass. And then flap away again. Holding it full over to the right. It's a lot more 
controllable than you would think it would be. Um, as long as you don't lose orientation, you're good. Can you land at our feet? Well, there's a challenge. Right, so <laughs> next time around. Next time around, yeah. Pretty good, Dom. That's not bad, is it? Oh. So it does take a little bit of practice, I would say, and develop your skill to fly it, but it wouldn't be fun unless it was challenging. So that's the Go Go Bird Eagle. We'll drop the link in the video description and the pinned comment. If you're interested in this type of ornithopter, then, uh, then please look it up. The, it'll be out soon and you can look up the price but uh, thanks for watching this essential RC flight test you might want to subscribe for more weird flight tests that we do in the future of all types of radio controlled stuff so click on subscribe click on the bell icon for notifications of our future uploads and live streams but Jason thanks mate for being no on camera and uh, we'll see you for the next one see you soon <laughs> it's your she knows. Bit, Every it? time we do a video, it does that right at the end. <laughs>